Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we traveled... Uh... I, I can't remove it. We traveled along the southern border of the Gerudo Desert, uncovering the Kawakoth Shrine, as well as the Ko Shrine, after defeating our third Mulduga. And this episode, we're going to start off this episode... Oh, we also, in in the Kawakoth Shrine, found the third great fairy of the game. So at some point, we're going to be getting around to that and discovering what it is... Well, not discovering what it's all about, but upgrading all of our gear to the third level. So, Kayo's Blessing, or Kayu. Unfortunately, we're, we weren't able to complete our exploration of Golden Bow. Uh, that's not even worth taking, but I guess I had room. We're going to be completing our exploration of the Gerudo Desert. There isn't much left. We've we've circled the entirety of the desert. We, there may be a couple things which I'll explore close, like there's a skeleton right here. There's uh, this weird blip on the map right outside of, of Gerudo Town. I believe we've been there and it's a lookout. But otherwise, we're, we're almost done. Let's see, I need to change my equipment for sure. There. And there, yeah, like I said, there really isn't much left. Uh, we have a, let's see. I believe, yeah, we've already seen what that green marker is so I can remove it. Uh, I will place, I'm gonna place an orange marker there so we know the general direction which I should be heading. And then we'll, we're gonna see, first of all, what this dune is, or what this giant sandstorm is, because I don't think that's the far reaches of the map. We're not, we are not currently heading towards the edge of the map, and yet, please don't shoot me, ow. And yet, there's this giant sandstorm in front of us. So if I cannot get, if, I, I can make it there in any other fashion than being a pincushion, then I would be extremely grateful and very intrigued by what this what the sandstorm is. It's it's very odd. There's also this... I should probably check out this oasis since it's right next to my path. And it looks like... There's a statue pointing into the the sandstorm. That's, that's kind of weird. It may just be me, but it's pretty weird. Okay, there's an encampment here. I don't think I need to raid it. Well, I, I mean, I'm definitely going to raid it, but I, I want to find out what is here first. Is there no treasure? I'm just here for the loot, man. Where's my loot? There's no loot. Uh, well, actually, you know, technically. Technically, there is loot because we've we've killed these guys before, killed these with Zalfos, and found out that they had some pretty good stuff. They had diamonds. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, switching weapons over to... Blizzard Rod. Because I found out there's a very good strategy of utilizing, um, utilizing broken weapons correctly. I'm not sure if I was told about this one in the comment section or, or what, but if there's a weapon about to break, uh, it's best if you freeze the enemy first. Where are you going? Where are you going? There. If you freeze the enemy first and then throw the, the weapon at it, then it does five times the amount of damage as opposed to just, uh... You have a rusty weapon, don't you? As opposed to just three times, because whenever you hit an enemy that is frozen, your next attack will deal uh, double damage. But also, since it's a broken weapon, it does three times the damage, and you can just do the math from there. Please! Die. Okay, this thing's almost broken. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, he keeps this. This Lazalfos seems really obsessed with this rock. Oh. And boosh. He's dead. Okay, was this actually worth it? We'll see. There, there was a treasure here, and there's also a a buried chest nearby. Fire arrows. So far, my uh, my mind is telling me no as for the reward factor of this this little excursion. And then you contain, if it's anything short of a diamond or a gem, 
Maybe a good weapon? I'd settle for that. A Royal Halberd with attack up 14. Not bad. It replaced the weapon that I broke. The weapons that I broke. And then also there's a, a seal. And that's always nice to get. So the seal was there. Is it wild? Can we just walk up to it? No, we can't. Okay, we got a seal. Now we can head into this sandstorm. I have no clue what it what it could be. It's probably a shrine. But we also have this this weird statue pointing into it, which again, I said it last episode, gives me some strong vibes of of Ocarina of Time. With the Poe guiding us. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Is that so that it sort is something I can take? What is it? Is it just a normal sword? Traveler's Claymore. Yeah, that's not worth it. But it is... Oh, come on. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do this. No, I need you. Don't run away from me. Okay, got it. Whew! I was, I was worried. I was worried I'd have to hoof it alone. Okay, so first let's check this out. Make sure that I'm going to be heading the right direction. Okay, we're heading this way. For sure. You're heading this way. That is the direction the woman was pointing. There's another woman pointing this direction. So we're heading this way. We're kind of going slow. I know. But I, I need to be able to see things. I believe we're heading the correct direction. And now... Where are we going? Is there another woman inside? Very strong wind heading against us. Oh, hello. The statue. Head that way. Okay, I can do that. Oh. I thought... I thought that that, that uh, pl pl plume of smoke was a Mulduga. I don't want to fight a Mulduga in this. I'd get so turned around. Okay, skeleton. And is this where all the women were pointing? I think it is. We get a shrine. Kema Zoo's Shrine. A delayed puzzle. Kema Zoo's Shrine. Whoa. Okay. Well, there's this thing. Does nothing. Unless... It, okay, this is, this is eventually what we need to be opening. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh. We can just leave? Uh. I don't. I don't think this was intended. I don't think. What? Okay. Hands down. This is the easiest shrine in the history of the game. Like, in, in the entirety of the game, easiest shrine. Because we just walked in, expended one resource, and solved the entire thing. Now, the real question is, how do I get the loot? Because that's what's really important. Okay, I just solved this puzzle. Is there any reason to stay here anymore? Moonlight Scimitar, attack up a 5. I took it because I've been breaking weapons. Is there actually a reason to stay here? Delayed puzzle. What? Maybe we need this. Okay, so I got I got that. I can use it to get a good camera angle. Well, I really don't understand. Certainly there was a reason to do this. Like, is this just a really poorly designed shrine? Like, I didn't need this at all. I could have just shot it and just walked on through. I think this is just the, the worst designed shrine in the game. Yeah, I really don't know what that was all about. Uh, it's yeah that's I, I want to say it was just terribly designed but also 
I also feel like I'm missing something about it, but we completed it. We got its orb, so I guess it's beaten, so we win? And also, there's probably a Korok on top of this, so I should I should head to the top. Sure enough, there is a Korok. So I guess we can head over to this statue. I do want to see what it's wielding, because they... It would make sense to have a pretty good weapon hidden in, in this. Although this just looks like a traveler sword here. Let's let's climb her. Traveler's claymore? I mean, I'll take it. Amazing that they stood the test of time. Although, I guess you don't need to worry about rust in a place like this. The only floods are very brief. We also get to see all of the statues around. There's another one there. Looks like there's a very big being here once. All right, we're at the far reaches of the map. We're done, I think. Like I said, there may be a couple things which I want to explore, like like that. That, that probably houses a Korok. But otherwise, I think that... I'll, okay, that that's interesting over there. Or is that the ice house? That may be, just be the ice house here. That's definitely not the ice house, so we can see what that's about, but otherwise, I think I think we're done. I don't think there's anything left to to uncover. We'll, we'll head up here, just make sure there's not a Korok, because there's probably a Korok. Another Traveler's Claymore. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully she does not mind me using her head. Uh, I guess I'm not using her head as a boost. Jump up here. Nothing. Jump up here. And nothing. Okay. I I believe you. They're just a bunch of dragons. Desert areas seem to be uh, very attractive for dragons to die. If you remember Skyward Sword, that, that was a... Oh, I thought you were a Mulduga. That was a big part of Skyward Sword, was a dead dragon. Okay, surf over this way. I don't expect there to be a shrine here. Maybe a Mulduga, maybe nothing, but... We can at least check it out. There's just uh, some Cephalina up there. And otherwise... A buried chest. And then... Uh, oh, another buried chest. Well, I mean, we'll take the rewards. That's not worth it. I guess, is, is this buried chest? Oh, it's one of you. Well, it is worth killing you. There. Okay, yeah, it is, it is worth killing them, because sometimes they have really good good treasure. Otherwise, we're done? Uh, that's an actually real chest. So I'll take that. Open it in midair like like bosses do. Fire arrows, not much, but it does help me uh, reimburse myself for a lot of the resources which I, I spent. And then this little corner of the map, which seems to be a whole lot of nothing. Well, great, we did it. Feels weird, but we we've cleared out the map. Oh, but then there's this. I did say I wanted to explore this weird rib cage thing on the map, because rib cages usually have something good. I guess anything unique in a desert is usually good. Okay, uh... Please, thank you, Urbosa. Oh, that was close. Come on. Break him open. I dropped... Wait, what? Shock arrows? Oh, shock arrows. Uh... Here, die. I need my frost sword. Woo! Kill him. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I need crowd control. Oh, that was close. And break them open. Let's try out this scimitar. Oh, you're the last one. Nice. Okay. Get some rewards. We actually needed some Moblin Fangs, so that's appreciated. And you 
have exactly what I want. Your life. And that's why I took it. Are there any left? Oh, there are. You, sir. Come on. Did not mean to break that. You can go scribbleoosh. I said scribbleoosh. Got him. Okay. Chest inside is a sapphire. Not bad. Not bad. All right. As for the mysterious man in a tent, which you in the comment section have told me about that I need to keep a lookout for, I have not seen any such thing. So I'm not saying it does not exist. I, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that you should probably tell me where I should, where I can find him. And preferably before I head into the next area, because that area is full of snow. So, this is the last episode of a batch. And then after that, I'm going to be exploring or uh, getting, I'm going to be looking at your guys' comments. So, if you want to get have me not be cursing the snow... Please tell me where that thing is because it sounds like it. I would benefit from it greatly. All right. Uh, before we end off the episode, and starting next episode, we're probably going to be uh, getting. We're probably going to be completing a bunch of quests. I would like to head into back into the Gerudo Town. There are a lot of quests for us to complete now. Uh, I can think of like three off the top of my head, which we started and can complete. So let's head in here. I am dressed as a foe, so it'll work. The first quest, uh, let's see. I need to go to my adventure log. Medicinal Mulduga. We got the guts of a Mulduga, and so we can use that to help this woman cure her. Yeah, Milena. Cure her dying child, or her dying, no, husband it was. Savsava. Oh, it's you. My husband was the first Vo to ever tell me I was beautiful. I love him so, and so I need, to, need those Mulduga guts no matter what, but what can I do on my own? Here. I got some for you. Wait, these... Mulduga guts? You give these to me? Oh, Sarkso. This is all I have to thank you with, but I insist you take it. Gold rupee? This will save him, Sniff. Okay, that was very easy. And so the next quest... The Mystery Polluter. Dahlia has been working hard to start an orchard, but garbage keeps appearing in her water source, so her efforts are all for naught. What sort of vile polluter would toss his or her garbage away with such indifference? First of all, you don't have to put his or her there, because it's it's most assuredly going to be a female, because this is Gerudo Town. But second of all, we have already met her. She's up here, and she's not making what I would call trash. It's mainly, uh, mainly hydromelon slices. In fact, there goes yeah, there goes one now. In fact, why why is this a problem? This shouldn't be a problem. Because like like the, the your hydromelons, you can grow this. This is not trash. This is compost. Actually, uh for some reason this is considered pollution. But the garbage, a small vi is having trouble. Oh sure, you spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle? Well, no, I do what I want. Mm -hmm. Ah, don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Altruism is for suckers. Uh, just once, I would like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry, and I can hold off on eating so many valens. I got it! Wild berries grow in the snowy areas of Gerudo Highlands. It's da a dangerous region, so the fruit is kind of rare and hardly ever shows up at the market. Ah. Now that I think on it, there's barely a, a point if you only bring me Vaughn. Let's see. Yes, I'll need at least ten. I believe I, actually, I have ten. Uh, inventory... I have seven!
I haven't been thinking about trash at all. Who can think of all in a melon trance? I just can't believe the rinds I'm tossing are such a, are tossing in are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? That's what I thought, actually. Well, anyway, I feel bad about the little vi, but I'm going to need at least ten wild berries if you want me to stop. Huh? Really? <laughs> Sweetness! So that is a wild berry. And it's delicious, and no rind to toast. What's a magical fruit? <laughs> if I have these, I might just give up on other fruit entirely. But now I feel bad for the little vi. Now that my craving has been satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. Shame on me. I'm going to help clean up the trash. I've really caused a lot of trouble, but now I'm going to make it right. Sarkso. And let's go see the little girl. Maybe she's grown something? It's my guess that the watermelons will have, have grown, and her complaints were all for naught. And now she's making hydromelons, hydro and we can we can get them for our own uses. Is that right? No, because it's nighttime. Savolta. Oh my, sure. I sure caused a lot of trouble for you, didn't I? After a good night's sleep, I did manage to track down Kaliban, but I still need to, to find the, the little girl. After I saw that Vadotro completely filled with trash and... And that poor little Vi crying for her lost orchard. I had a change of heart. I'll never litter again. Still with the w rinds? Mm. Hey, don't judge. It'd be a pain to toss these a rind at a time. I'll just collect a bunch of them and throw them all at once away later. Aww. Why are you looking at me like that? I stopped littering. I'm going to throw these away later, alright? Calm down. <laughs> and what does she say if... If we talk about the wild berries, I gave those wild berries to the little Vi to apologize for causing her so much trouble with my rinds. I was completely satisfied with being able to try a single wild berry after wondering about it so for so long. No regrets. Well, besides, I guess I prefer hydromelons to anything, and I always will. They're being sold at the fruit shop, so I bought some more. Okay, now let's report to the little Vi girl who's... where is she? She's not by her normal station, so she's over here doing something. Where it? Where is she? She? Ins I think she's inside. Maybe? No. Wait. Oh, there she is, Dahlia. Wild berries, so many. I think we need to wait for her to wake up. There she is. Ah, Vi from out of town, Savolta. Hey you, listen to this. Some other Vi I've never met before helped me clean up the trash. And now the Valder trough is completely back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you? Sarkso. Oh, I got a hydromelon from the lady who cleaned it up. I'll share. It's a Sarkso uh, for caring about me. <laughs> oh yeah, the lady who helped clean me gave me some wild berries. So now my field is going to be a wild berry patch. You can come eat the berries anytime you like. It'll be great. And that is what I was hoping to hear. Wild berries are, are pretty useful to get, at least to season foods, so hopefully this will be uh, polluted with wild berries instead of trash. Okay, are there any other quests which we can hurry up, or we can finish with the time left in the episode? It doesn't appear as though I have any more quests on my list, so that might mean we've completed this. When I wore the Thunder Helm and fought along your side, I thought I heard a name call out in the wind, Riju. I haven't been called by that name in a while. Uh, that strong, warm voice. It must have belonged to Urbosa. Riju. Such insolence. Even deeds as valorous as yours do not earn you the, the right to speak so to the chief. Hmm hmm hmm. Let it go, Buliara. Being called by my name every once in a while isn't so bad. The Thunder's Helm still holds some of Urbosa's power. If you want to wield that power, then you must address the concerns of my people and bring a resolute peace to our town. Then you will be acknowledged as a friend of the Grudo, and only then will I lend the Helm to you. Well, I thought I did that, but there must be something I'm missing. Oh, what happened to Barta? <laughs> what? Barta didn't come and be back again? I'm afraid this time she went to investigate the Leviathan th bones in the southwest. I, I tried to stop her, but obviously it didn't work because she's not here. Well, yeah. 
But everyone knows that area is the domain of the Molduga, so who would figure she'd even she'd even go close to there? Ooh. Yeah, nobody would there. And not only that, but it's an extremely hot zone, so we wouldn't last long in our gear. You. You idiots! That scatterbrain wouldn't even realize she was walking into danger. I mean, you know that, right? Vi, it was just the other day she ran off and got captured by the Yiga. Uh, I guess Bartha will be Bartha, and you all aren't going to change. But still, why does she ask to go and get in trouble like this at all the time? The search for Barta. Oh, here she is. Hey! I know you. Are you a fairy, an angel? Are you here to guide my passage? Everything's going hazy. This might be the end. Snap out of it. Uh, if only I had eaten a hearty durian one last time. Hearty durian, hearty durian. Do I have one of those? Uh, inventory... Food... I don't. Ah, uh, spirit of the goddess, before you would take me from the world if I could just taste fruit. One last bite of a hearty durian. Take this! Ah, I've come back from the brink thanks to you. I guess it really was reckless of me to come here without the proper gear, but you don't seem to have the proper gear either. Oh. I probably should warn the Vo clothing. It's kind of impressive that you got here, to be honest. Ha, anyway, I'm absolutely beat. Maybe I'll just rest for a little longer and then head home. Your boss was mad. Huh, so they knew. I snuck off. Oh, I am in such trouble. Yep, it looks like I better go on ahead. See you later and Savork. You lousy lot. Oh, what the courageous Vi. I heard from Barta. She said you found her. I told you were, you were as dependable as a champion. If you were Gerudo Vi, I'd want you in my troop. Anyway, close one, huh? Looks like I got out of this without being chewed out by our troop later. You must be worn out, right? Here, take this as thanks. Buy yourself something nice in the market. Silver rupee. Now, does that mean that we've helped everyone? I kind of doubt it because I haven't gotten an update on that quest. Let's see, what was it called? The Thunderhelm. But it doesn't hurt to check in. If not, then I will end the episode and let your input uh, be the be the deciding factor here. So what, what was... Do you see that weird... What? It's a weird visual effect on her? Like, I... I guess it's a reflection. Hmm <laughs> hmm. I have heard of your recent actions. You have returned smiles to the faces of my people. On behalf of all Gerudo, I must offer you my heartfelt thanks. Sarkso. You are, from this moment on, a true friend of the Gerudo. And if it can help you if it can help a true friend in need, we will gladly lend you our this sacred treasure. Aw oh, man. Lightning proof. A precious heirloom passed down among the Gerudo. It reflects lightning strikes and is traditionally worn only by the Gerudo chief. Okay! I know that you, more than any other, will be able to use this Thunderhelm to its fullest potential. I believe you can unlock the power of Urbosa that lies within. Okay then! Uh, we have the Thunderhelm, and that means probably that there's nothing left to do in Gerudo Town. It's, it's complete. It's cleared out. I should probably also equip this thing just to see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. I just realized I equipped this in public. And no one minds? Savok. Now that Nibiru has calmed, it seems like the desert is different. I suppose it is, actually. It's back to normal now. I thought that Hylians were a small, weak little people, but you're not so bad. Not goodbye, it's Savork. So I guess it's fine if I wear this, and people don't really care. If I equip this, will people kill me? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Now my question is, if I'm wearing this, and I'm, I use Urbosa's Fury, is that a combo? No. Okay. Well, it was, it was worth checking out. You never know. You never know if, if maybe because it was Urbosa's item and I'm using her power, then maybe it would like reflect it a bunch of times, but I guess it's it's already cool enough that it makes you completely lightning proof. 
Whenever I'm in a thunderstorm, I can wear metal weapons, and it's actually good for me because then it's going to be dealing damage to enemies. Yeah. So, I should probably go test this out somewhere. In fact, in the end slate, I will go to a place which historically has always had lightning and try this out. Also, starting next episode, probably regardless of your input, I'm going to be working on upgrading all of my gear. Uh, so that gives us a nice little buffer. And next episode will be an entirely new recording schedule. So give your input now, and then after I have upgraded all of my gear, then we will head into a new area or backtrack in another area where there's a shrine which you want to see me complete. I am not... I'm not above going back and going to an area we've already been to before and doing that. I just want to make sure that I'm doing what you guys want me to do. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. New episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild are released every Monday and Wednesday. Next time in Pal Plays Breath of the Wild, we are going to be upgrading all of our gear, and I will see you then.